each of your neighborhood McDonald's is locally owned and operated. Back by popular demand. Shane. It's the Shane Show. It's me. I'm hungry. Can we bust into that, please? Hey, y'all, hey. Napkins. Should we try to sell them? They're going 10 bucks a piece. No, I'm just kidding. That was a bad joke. Bad joke. <laughs> I'm only down to one in my glove box. We gotta sanitize. When y'all go, if any of y'all are brave enough to go eat like we've been doing, save your napkins. But this isn't a coronavirus you video. Yeah, but I don't want that one. I want watermelons. Thank you. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. I'm not sick. Amy. We're just going through the dog woods. It makes me sneeze. Got a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Mm -hmm. well, 450 calories, which I have to burn off when I mow the lawn today. And this was $4 for this. Eggs are in high demand. Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, $4. Well, Brian, that's a very <laughs> nutritious, nutritious lunch. lunch. All the food groups are represented. Isn't that what he says? We got a Coke. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. Look at here, y'all. Let's... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. One, two, three, four. That's got five layers. I'm loving it. So that's about 75 cents per layer. I mean... Okay. Actually, no, it's 80 cents exactly per layer. He enjoys that kind of statistic talk. Y'all, I'm a hot mess. This is... I did brush I got, my teeth and change my clothes. I got a $1.50 sausage biscuit and hash brown meal for $1.50. Mm -hmm. So as we all know, these are a dollar. So this is $0.33 cents per layer. So I'm working from home today. And these are free. Sorry, you're trying to change the subject and I'm still muck, uh, muck banging. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm done. We need to know about how much everything costs. You That's the best part. You crashed me out. It's fine. No worries. I've been rude to him all morning, apparently. <laughs> Tell him how I've been rude to you. She, she decided to start making commentary in bed. We're both kind of working from home today. Um, We're totally working from home. So... Um, sorry, I'm texting. My son has had seven wisdom teeth. Seven wisdom teeth. I didn't know that. Y'all don't tell me anything. Yes, you did know that. No, I didn't know I had seven. Yes, you did, because there was a huge, when we found out, there was a huge to-do about it. And you're like, seven? How long ago was that? Like a year ago. I'm telling you, my memory. So he's got seven sucks. wisdom teeth. He's 17 years old, so he went in this morning... Got all the wisdom teeth pulled, so that's going to be an adventure. Um, he just got out of surgery, so I'm getting updates. But uh, so I we, love him. So we kind of took it slow this morning. My, it was slow getting up, but we were both on our phones. I'm checking my emails yeah. from work. He's checking his texts for work because he does roughs. Um, and my lovely wife, she went down and brought me up some coffee mm -hmm. she went down fixed the coffee came back up with a big cup of coffee made my day better made it brighter so thank you for raining in a little sunshine on my day lover you're welcome i couldn't i couldn't make you feel too loved i had to be rude to you so yeah so anyway spoil you. we're on our phones and she's if it's love all the time you'll be spoiled she's reading youtube i think is that what you're doing yeah that's what you're doing Reading She's reading comments and stuff. Actually reading through like the last video we did with Taco Bell. Shout out to Disco Girl. You made other comments. Hey, Disco Girl. Hey, girl. We love you. We, we do. do. We love you. We love you. Not not sarcastic. If we like, no, sarcasm is we like you. If we're sarcastic with you, we like you. So life has to have, I have to be a little bit sarcastic. I'm sorry. If I really didn't like you and you really hurt my feelings, I would have blocked you. And guess what? We're we we like disco. We like disco. We like disco. And there's something about disco girl. We like her. It's her smart mouth. That's what we like. 
There's something about her. Something about you. I like girl. your name, Disco Girl. Yeah. You know what it makes me think of? I like the wiki banter we have going on. What was the movie with Mark Wahlberg and Burt Reynolds where they were doing the, the, the porn thing? Dirk Diggler. I don't watch porn. I know it's not porn, baby. It was a movie. Anyway, Dirk Diggler. Well, there's a character in it named Roller Girl, and she's always on roller skates. Mm. And I can't remember the girl's name that plays the, the character, but every time I see Disco Girl, I think Roller Girl. Right. But what is it, what we can't do that. Oh. She well, just tried it's just to blowing right on She me. just tried to shut the air conditioner down. You can't cut it off. This conversation has gone to like five different roads. Okay. So anyway, she's reading her comments and then she she's like, Hey, blah 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 and she like asked me a question. She it wasn't a direct question, but she was involving me in the in what she was doing. I'm like, Oh, okay, and so I participate, and then she just ignores me. <laughs> I started reading. And I'm like, wait, what? Wait. So I got a little bit butt hurt about that. Not real, but I'm like, why do you ignore me? I was reading. Don't do that. Don't you ask. You kind of got more butt hurt than you should have. Well, don't ask me, involve me in conversation, and then just bloop, you're gone. It's only child speak, baby. And then I had to tell him. I know that you enjoy being the center of the universe, but it can't always be that way. But I love you all the time, but I can't make you the center of the universe Curtis, all the time. Forget about center of the universe and whether it's the sun or the moon or me or Jupiter or whatever. <laughs> forget about that. If I involve you in dialogue, then common courtesy would say, hey, I'm going to stay in that dialogue with you. And then how many times do I apologize? Until it's over. Do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I'm so <laughs> Babe, I'm so sorry. I'm a horrible, awful person, and I shouldn't have ignored you. I love you, and I'll work on that. I hate when she says I'll work on that. You know why? Because I got nowhere to go with that. I can't argue that. I can't argue that. I'll work on it. I'll try to be better. Well, damn, now I can't fight with you. <laughs> you just run the fun. And phone. he has moments where he wants to fight. I don't know if he gets bored with all the love or gets bored with the fun, but sometimes he just wants to fight. Probably true. He just wants to fight. And then I'll kind of be like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then I'll be like, you just want to fight, so let's do it. We haven't had a real good fight in a long time. I'm real bad about I won't let things go. Like, I want to keep going into it. I'm real bad about that. And I, I'm, I'm really, I try to work on that, but I'm bad about it. I, and I hate that. Yeah, you need to let stuff go. I'll keep going with it. I'll keep going with it. I'll keep going with it. Until he becomes irrational. You guys, we'll have freaking huge fights. We haven't had one in a long time. We've done real good. We haven't had one since like January. It's been a good mm -hmm. six weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we've We're had some good hairy fights. Never, never physical, just verbal screaming matches. And he'll go off into some completely irrational. You'll get irrational. What are you talking about? Irrational? <laughs> like what? You're just looking for a comeback. You have to come back every time. You have to have to have to. You always have to be have the last word. And then you just get ridiculous. And then I'm like, okay, you win. You're the winner. He didn't like it when I say that either. I just get tired of it's it, because, so I'm like, okay, you win. It's because that's her cop-out statement. No, it's because I'm tired, because we've been screaming for 30 minutes. Like, I'm physically tired, and we're getting nowhere. We're going in circles, and that means I'm done. Maybe that means I'm being the bigger person and saying we're done here. That's what that means. No, it doesn't. But I love you anyway. I love you too, baby. So our grass is about four feet high, so we're going to knock that down today. I drove 180 miles yesterday. Did I tell you that? Uh-huh. He visited the whole state of Oklahoma. The whole Metro Tulsa area. I, like, circumnavigated, like, three times. Ooh, circumnavigated. What that, exactly does circumnavigated mean? That's what they did to the Hebrews back in the old days. When the boys, when they were born, they circumnavigated them. <laughs> I 
Okay. Circumnavigated means you went around the whole thing. Circumference. Navigation. Circumnavigated. God, you're smart. Not really. You're so smart, baby. We're going to bounce over here to the Dollar Tree in a minute. We're going to do Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> We're, We're going to go see what we can scrounge up. What? Baby, what happened to my hash brown? <sighs> the rat's got a hold of it. I get in my bag for my hash brown. And I this, took a bite of it right in front of you. And this is what I pull out. You better take it back and tell them you're mad. Take it back. Say so somebody took Here, a bite take, out of my hash take brown. Take your bite. Take your No, 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 no. With your mouth. Ah, there you go. Oh, that was fun. Fun little camera trick. Have you seen the puppet eating the cars? It's awesome. I don't think so. There goes an ice cream truck. Oh, no, it's not. It's for birthdays and fundraisers and private parties. They were talking about, like, during coronavirus, like, the taco truck should go around, like, ice cream trucks. Mm-hmm. Because everybody's at home. I wonder if there's a margarita truck. Ooh, and they can play Mexican music and just drive around. New business, new business plan. Margaritas and tacos. Margaritas and tacos. You drive around like playing mariachi truck. music. That's brilliant. Wow. Mm. You can wear a big sombrero while you're driving. That would be awesome. And have ready-made tacos. Just ready to go. All right. Okay, well, let's bounce off of here. We'll catch you on the Dollar Tree end. We'll be back. We're already at 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, our Dollar Tree haul isn't going to be much. There's none in there. Two and two, we'll be right back at you. It's Chuck Woolery, remember? Mm hmm What was that dating show called? The Newlywed Game. New no. They weren't married yet. Yeah, it was a Newlywed Game. Well, they were married. They were newlyweds. The newlyweds. No, it was when a bachelorette got to pick between bachelors. Oh, well, that's not Chuck Woolery. Okay. Chuck Woolery was newlywed game. You're talking about uh, where they had the three guys sitting on the stools. And he'd say, two and two, be right back at you. The newlywed game. Okay. We'll be back. Get a park under a tree. Hey, we're back. We found some stuff at the Dollar Tree. He's working or talking to Dalton or something. Tell him what happened with Dalton. <laughs> so, okay, so he's so, at, he was out of surgery. Got his wisdom teeth pulled. Got it, yeah, got his wisdom teeth pulled. And they're going to get his prescription. He's like, hey... Here's the text he sent me. Hey, just got out of surgery. All is good. I can't stop crying, though, because of the anesthesia. But that's about it. <laughs> that's so fun. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Let's show you what we got at the Dollar Tree. You guys, struck gold. Paper towels. I was completely out. And the limit was four. So, I got four. And there's Sparkle Brand. Um... Here's you a bag, and another bag. Hold on, let me do this bag. And then I got some more of my kitchen handles, vanilla trash bags, I love these. Love those. This is in no particular order. She got some candles. I did. But I don't like these kind, but I guess she does. They don't have enough throw to matter. Caramel drizzle, cinnamon bun. Banana walnuts. They're all the. They're all the. And gingerbread chai. They're all the little mason jars. So he's not going to show them, I guess. No, I, I showed one. Okay. I don't have to show the individual ones if they. I'm reading them the flavors. The flavors. Okay, baby. You. See how he wants. See, he's trying to fight with me today. No, that's not. No. So then you, I got some of these. You won. Cheddar and broccoli. 
Right. These are so good to eat by themselves or with a side for a side dish. Then, you know that bad habit of picking stuff up when you're standing in line? I did that and found these. Lemon pucker. Let's have one. Let's do a taste test. I love lemon. And I love the soft yellow buttery packaging color. Are we going to share or have our own? Well, oh, I thought it was like a drop. What is it? It's a, is I think it? it's a chewy. Oh. It's a lemon candy with a sour kick. A lemon pucker. Mm. There you go. That's what they look like. They're it's, soft it's, like a like a fudge. Like a cookie. That's like a. Mmm. They're rich. Kind of creamy. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, actually. It's like a soft. How do you explain it? What is it equivalent to the texture? Like the firmness. Like a like a bar of chocolate. Just like that. It's like a lemon chocolate. Like a Hershey bar. Yeah, like a lemon. It's like you're just taking a bite of a Hershey bar, but lemon instead of chocolate. Real creamy. I'd buy them again. I recommend. What do you think? Yeah, I don't like lemon as a rule, but those are good. Mm. Probably just a half though, dang. Yeah, you can just split one. <laughs> Here. Oh. What are you doing? It gave me the kick it talked about. I was talking about a kick, there it was. Riley wanted some, what's that, what's that stuff? Baking soda. Baking soda. Um, Probably I'm, to brush her teeth I'm with. Not, yeah, she brushes her teeth with baking, baking soda. You know, she's that kid. She's that kid. OxyClean Pet Fresh Carpet. Our carpet's old. Older than probably a lot of you. Our carpet's old. And we have three dogs, so. And I am not replacing the floor till the dogs are gone. Pet Fresh. And then after we get new floor and we don't have animals, we're not going to get another animal for a long, long time. Got some Ajax dish soap because our Dawn, we had a big bottle of Dawn. And by the way, like with that Dawn, like, it just takes one drop. I know. Like, I just do one drop. Mm -hmm. We need to tell Riley. Yeah. When she was doing dishes, she's like, shh. I'm like, we don't need all that. She need one drop. Now this, you might need to shh, but not with Dawn. Not shh. Just a couple drops with this. Not shh. No. What else is in your fun bag? That's all in that bag. Okay, here's our last you, bag. You keep giving me the crap bag. Oh, you want to do this bag? Where's the, the, where's the sunscreen and stuff? In here. Oh. You want to do the bag? Yep, I'll do it. It's your Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, it's the Shane Show. We got some dog snacks. Puppy treat. Because we have three dogs. Amy likes to get those. We got two bags of those. And we got a couple toothbrushes. Soft. These are by Rainier. Not quite sure what that is, but hey, 50 cents a piece. This is a bamboo charcoal toothbrush it's infused with charcoal to help infuses. whiten your teeth uses i don't know if you can just use it till the charcoal i don't know it how long you can use it removes stains and helps white well the, you know what the charcoal does whitens your teeth yeah but do you know how do you uh -uh. know why no okay well, you educate us i'm not real it's sure flat and it looks cool bamboo charcoal and i was like yeah i'm gonna try that a couple balls because bonnie who we kind of inherited I don't know if you told that story or not. Um, I, I told I told him in the last mukbang we did. I she likes balls. Bonnie. She likes tennis balls, and she won't play fetch with you, but she she'll go get the ball, and then she wants you to chase her. Right. Which, if she throw the ball, she grabs the ball, and then you she's not gonna give it back. Lady speed stick. Mm -hmm. I needed deodorant. These are little pansy ones, but we were there and I bought some. Okay, so let me talk about this. So I haven't seen anybody haul this, but of course I'm not caught up in my YouTube videos. This is St. Ives brand, which I, I like St. Ives. It's, it it's, goes back to my childhood. But this is a cleansing stick, cactus water and hibiscus. So it hydrates and softens skin as you clean. So when you're in the shower or over your sink or whatever, um, you just...
Mm, that smells good. It's just a soap stick, and you just rub it on your face and wash your face with it and lather it up and rinse it off. Why don't you just use regular soap? Because this is fun and niche and it's a thing, and it's a dollar, and it's St. Eyes, and I love St. Eyes, so. Okay. It's just something new at the Dollar Tree. All right. I, when I saw St. Ives cleansing stick, my mind just starts asking questions. I'm like, sure, it did me too. When like, I picked what? it up, I was like, what is that? This is a manicure set with clippers because I clip my nails a lot. And nail clippers around our house, it's like David Copperfield. They're, they're gone. Nail clippers, gone. Who's, who's... What? Who what? That's too bad that your nail clippers are gone. That was a dog bone for the dogs. It's a rubbery teeth cleaner. Rubber cleaner bone. I, this, there was some sunblock in there for a dollar. Man, some I don't, I don't know if this is any good or not. I'll have to like compare the ingredients. Dalton's hauling limbs for a tree service now, and he yeah. came in burnt like a he's, lobster yesterday. He's, like, wor he's worked there three days in like... Dangerously red. Yeah, like Tuesday, this is Thursday, Tuesday he got a sunburn, and he doesn't get, he doesn't, he's always been the kind of kid, he doesn't, he's not outdoorsy, doesn't go out a lot, He's he likes to be inside, and, and so his skin isn't real acclimated. Um, although he does, he's, he's, he's a fair skinned blonde. Although he does tan, ginger. he does tan, you know, yeah, but um, he's got to burn real bad first. Yeah. So, so anyway, he was like, I, I got to get some sunscreen. He was on fire yesterday. He's probably we, going, still on fire. We've got an aloe plant at the house and we, we put aloe on his arms. But so anyway, I, I saw this, I was like, man, cause sunscreen is kind of expensive. So we'll give this a try and see. And then last but not least. My favorite charo beans in the whole world. These are good. If y'all haven't tried these, I've hauled them before. They're and good. And it's a big can. And they're good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. And that's it. They're good. That's all the things. That's it. Thanks. Thanks, DT. Thanks, DT, for being open. Is that it? So. Okay, we're done. Thanks for eating with us and hauling with us. And that's it. We love you guys. The Lord loves you more. Bye. Bye.